everyone, welcome to our channel Agla Same Schools. I am Aishwarya and I am back with another chapter of science that is chapter number 16 light. This chapter discusses light, laws of reflection and all about the nature of light. So without wasting much time, let us start with our exercise and try to give appropriate solutions for the same. Starting with question number 1 which says, suppose you are in a dark room. Can you see objects in the room? Can you see the objects outside the room? Explain. No, objects cannot be seen in a dark room because in the dark room, all the objects cannot reflect any light as no light falls on the object. However, one can see the objects outside the room. The reflected light on the outside objects reaches our eyes. Question number two, differentiate between regular and diffuse reflection. Does diffuse reflection mean the failure of the laws of reflection? Answer. Regular reflection means reflection taking place from a smooth and shiny surface. All the reflected rays are parallel to each other. However, diffuse reflection takes place from a rough or irregular surface. In case of diffuse or irregular reflection, rays are not parallel to each other. Question number three. Mention against each of the following whether regular or diffuse reflection will take place when a beam of light strikes. Justify your answer in each case. Part number A. Polished wooden table. Here, in polished wooden table, regular reflection will take place because of the smooth polished surface. Part number B. Chalk powder. Diffused reflection will take place here because the surface of chalk powder is irregular and rough. Part number C. Cardboard surface. Here, diffused reflection will take place as cardboard has an irregular surface. Part number D. Marble floor with water spread over it. Here, regular reflection will take place because marble floor with water spread over it provides a smooth surface. Number E. Mirror. Here, regular reflection will take place because again, mirror has a smooth surface. Part number F. Piece of paper. A piece of paper has an irregular surface, so here diffused reflection will take place. Question number 4. State the laws of reflection. Answer. Two laws of reflection are, number first, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Number second, incident ray, reflected ray and the normal drawn at the point of incident to the reflecting surface lie in the same plane. Question number five. Describe an activity to show the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. Answer. Fix a white sheet of paper on a drawing board or a table. Take a comb and close all its openings except one in the middle. You can use a strip of black paper for this purpose. Hold the comb perpendicular to the sheet of paper. Throw light from a torch through the opening of the comb from one side. Let the sheet project a little beyond the edge of the table. Cut the projecting portion of the sheet in the middle. Look at the reflected ray. Make sure that the reflected ray extends to the projected portion of the paper. Bend that part of the projected portion on which the reflected ray falls and you will notice incident ray, reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. Question number 6. Fill in the blanks in the following. Part number A. A person one meter in front of a plane mirror seems to be dash meter away from his image. Answer is 2. Part number B. If you touch your dash ear with right hand in front of a plane mirror, it will be seen in the mirror that your right ear is touched with dash. Answer is left and left hand. Part number C. The size of the pupil becomes dash when you see in dim light. Answer is large. Part number D. Night birds have dash cones than rods in their eyes. Answer is less. Choose the correct option in question number 7 to 8. Question number 7. Angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Part A. Always. B. Sometimes. C. Under special conditions. D. Never. Answer is A. Always. Question number 8. Image formed by a plane mirror is part A virtual behind the mirror and enlarged part b virtual behind the mirror and of the same size as the object part c 
real at the surface of the mirror and enlarged part d real behind the mirror and the same object as the object answer part number b virtual behind the mirror and of the same size as the object question number 9 describe the construction of a kaleidoscope answer to make a kaleidoscope we need three rectangular mirror strips each about 15 cm long and 4 cm wide these are joined together to form a prism as shown on the screen then the arrangement of mirrors is fixed in a circular cardboard tube or tube of a thick paper the tube must be slightly longer than the mirror strips close one end of the tube by a cardboard disc having a hole in the center to make the disc durable paste a piece of transparent plastic sheet under the cardboard disc at the other touching the mirrors fix a circular plain glass plate place on this glass plate several small pieces of colored glass broken pieces of colored bangles close this end of the tube by a ground glass plate there should be enough space for the colored pieces to move around question number 10 draw a label sketch of the human eye answer here students need to draw a sketch on their own and present in the class question number 11 gurmeet wanted to perform activity 16.8 using a laser torch her teacher advised her not to do so can you explain the basis of the teacher's advice answer the teacher advised her not to perform the activity because intensity of the laser beam is very high and carries a large amount of energy it is harmful for the eyes and can cause damage to the eyesight question number 12 explain how you can take care of your eyes answer it is necessary that you take proper care of your eyes following are the ways to take care of your eyes number 1 have regular checkup second if advised use suitable spectacles 3 too little or too much light is bad for eyes insufficient light causes eye strain and headaches too much light like that of a sun a powerful number 4 do not look at the sun or a powerful light directly next Never rub your eyes. If particles of dust go into your eyes, wash your eyes with clean water. If there is no improvement, go to a doctor. And at last, always read at the normal distance for vision. Do not read by bringing the book too close to your eyes or keeping it too far. Question number 13. What is the angle of incidence of ray if the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degree to the incident ray? Here, the angle of incidence will be 45 degrees. Question number 14 How many images of a candle will be formed if it is placed between two parallel plane mirrors separated by 40 cm Answer Infinite number of images will be formed if it is placed between two parallel plane mirrors separated by 40 cm So guys this was all for this chapter Hope you liked the video and if you did then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends If you still have any doubts regarding this chapter then feel free to ask us in our comment section below and yes do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more ncert videos of other subjects too see you soon goodbye